Hey guys, welcome back. Uh, today we're going to be doing another video about Auto Widget. Um, I've been putting out a handful of updates lately and adding some features and stuff, so I just wanted to kind of give you guys uh, the rundown on this cool new stuff. Uh, latest version right now is 1.4.5, um, which adds, you know, next path and it adds cloning and exploding groups. Uh, so I really want to talk about those three things so you guys really understand how they work. Uh, but also I'm going to take a few minutes to go over the editor dialog, which was in a few versions ago, uh, but the last video that I did didn't really show it off. Okay, uh, so right off the bat I want to talk about uh, the quick little test build that I've put together here um, just to show off some auto widgets for you guys. This is made out of a skin called Arctic Zephyr 2. Um, really, really nice skin that I think shows off widgets fantastically. Uh, okay, so this is um, a couple of shortcut widgets from Auto Widgets. Uh, so these are going to be shortcuts that go into, uh, you know, like my library, for example. I have the Marvel Studios shortcut that will drop us right down into a library node I've made with Marvel movies. Uh, something like a Pixar shortcut does the same thing, brings us into the Pixar section of my library. Uh, these are going to be you know, search shortcuts, these go to the movie DB Helper and Discover, then this one is uh, for YouTube. Okay, so a couple of shortcut groups there to show those, as well as some movie sh widgets here, and some TV show widgets here. Okay, now these are auto widgets, um, so we can, you know, refresh those, we can wait for them to refresh. I've also got some Spotify widgets that we'll play with. Um, some add-on widgets just for you know me to be able to get to these add-ons quickly during the video and then a settings widget same thing let me get to the settings easily um, so part of this build that I've done is also that I put the refresh action on my power menu um, so I will show you guys that in just a second if you want to add it to your own menu or you want to add it to uh, a skin button or you know whatever the case may be I'm gonna give you guys that action as well um, and I'll put it in the description down below just in case you guys ever need it again. Uh, but while we're here, let's just go ahead and use it and I'll show you guys these are auto widgets that are going to refresh. So I can use that and you're going to see that these widgets behind change. Uh, we did see that the watch list one changed below. This top one actually stayed the same, uh, which is kind of a, the nature of the random widgets that we have. Sometimes if you don't have a lot of paths in a group, they're just going to stay the same when you change them. Again, uh, your movies widgets also changed there, and they'll change again. So we get popular movies. These are movie sets right here on the bottom coming from my library as opposed to add-on content up on top. These ones also changed. Uh, we actually see right here um, they went ahead and changed to a different widget. Uh, these music ones didn't because we haven't really messed with those yet. Um, but while, we, while we're here, I wanted to go ahead and take the time to show you guys that action for refreshing widgets. Now, uh, depending on your skin, this is going to be a little bit different. In Arctic Zephyr 2, I tend to put it on my power menu. You can get to it from skin settings, miscellaneous, power menu right here. Um, but this is the action that you want to use. Uh, in most cases, if you try to point to this in the dialogue or whatever, you're going to get something that says activate window, which actually won't work. Um, so you need to use this action right here, which I will put down in the description below, so you can just copy and paste it in if you like. Um, but it's telling Cody to run the plugin, and the plugin is auto widget, and the mode that we're going to run it with is force, and that's going to refresh the widgets. Okay, so we're going to back out of there. Again, we can just see this is working. It's changing out widgets for us, making us see some different stuff, right? But what we're going to do is actually go and look at some groups now. So this is inside Auto Widget. Uh, we do have the group here that I wanted to show the shortcuts with. Um, and we have the Path Editor dialog, which I didn't go over before. But essentially what it does is if you go into a group, and open up the context menu, which is you know right click or a long press on your remote or the C button on the keyboard maybe, and uh, choose edit path. 
you can actually change pretty much anything about this particular shortcut. So for example, this one is showing, it's coming from my library. I have a library node just for Marvel movies. Um, I could change the, the label that would be on the shortcut. I can change the um, artwork that goes with it. So this is really neat uh, for shortcut groups, especially, I think, because you can use some really nice artwork, get a really, really cool effect um, on some widgets in a nice skin. Uh, you could change the you could change to a banner if you wanted a banner widget of shortcuts or something like that. Um, you can change the label. So if all I wanted this to say was Marvel, or if I only wanted this Pixar one to say Pixar or whatever, I can do that. Okay, so that's the path editor. Very simple. I just kind of wanted to show that off to you guys first. Um, Next, we're going to talk about the different kinds of widgets that we're able to do now. Um, so in, in a group, uh, this is a widget group, and you'll see typically down below, we've always just had this one that says random path. Now we actually have next path as well. So we saw earlier that when you refresh a widget, a lot of the time, um, if you're doing a random path, you may get the same widget over again. Uh, it's a completely random algorithm, so there's no way for it to predict you know, that's the one he had before, let's give him something different this time for sure. It just doesn't work, okay? So, next path works to do something like that. If you have a widget that's pointed at a next path, you're going to get the next path, and the next path, and the next path, and the next path, every time it refreshes, all the way back to the beginning. Okay, so if we were to add this group as a next path, the very first thing we're going to get is recently added. And then we're going to get sets, and then we're going to get trending this week, and then we're going to get popular, okay, etc., et and so forth. Um, so let's go ahead and do that, and we'll just see how it works. So inside of your widget setup for whatever skin you have, uh, you can set this as a widget by going into auto widgets. <clears throat> the group that you want to be in, which for us is going to be movies, and I'm going to pick next path and use it as a widget. And so what we said before was that that should be recently added the first time that we see it, and what we're actually going to see first is this shortcut that says initialize widgets. You're going to see that every single time you add an auto widget to a setup, uh, whenever you load up your skin the first time, you'll need to initialize it. So we can do that right now. And it takes a second, and it reloads the skin. Um, sometimes it reloads the skin twice, just kind of depends on your skin. Uh, but when you come back up, you do have it here. And so this time, we did get recently added, just like I said. Now, the next one down in that list was going to be sets, if I'm not mistaken. So we can go ahead and refresh then we'll see that, that it's going to be sets. Now, one thing that you can also do in your group setup is change the order that these are going to be in. So we had recently added, then we had sets. Next time we refresh, since this is the next path, we're going to get trending this week. But say, for example, I wanted popular to be next instead, I can pull up that context menu again and hit shift path up. Okay, so now popular is after sets, and if we back out and refresh again, we're going to see that we get popular instead. Okay, pretty straightforward stuff. Which means that now it's time to talk about the new modes that we have. So now we have the clone and explode modes when you go to add a uh, auto widget shortcut. Um, so the best way that I can show these, I think, um, there's a really cool way to do this I found in the Netflix add-on. Okay, so I do have Netflix. This is totally legit add-on, um, hooked up with my Netflix account. Um, something that I thought was really cool was their movie genres section. Okay, so movie genres, um, has got all these genres, something like 20, 30, I have no idea how many of them. Okay, you can click into these, and you get a bunch of movies from that genre. Okay, totally makes sense, right? We're familiar with this. So what I could do is I could make a widget group 
in auto widget and add every single one of these to it. Kind of cumbersome for me anyways. Okay, so what I did is I'm going to explode this group. Uh, we call it exploding because we're going to take it and just rip it up into a bunch of widgets. So if I pick this folder here, uh, the movie genres folder, which conveniently enough in this skin is represented by the little folder icon, open the context menu, add it to a group, but instead of picking a regular widget or a shortcut, I'm going to explode as widget group. So I can start this and I'm going to call this group movie genres. So what this is going to do is it actually is going to make us, we'll go look at it, a, a widget group with widgets for every single subfolder in that main genres folder. Um, so if I back a little bit out of here, and we'll go down into auto widget, and you can see when I go to that movie genres group, we've got those. All right. And if we then go and set a widget for it, I'm actually just going to put it right here on the movies page. I'll put it on a top widget so we get to see it real quick. We're going to go to auto widget. We're going to get that movie genres group. And I'll just do a random path. That's totally fine and use it as a widget. Okay, we cool with that. Um, let's go back. Let it refresh. Got to initialize it. Like I said, first thing, we're always going to initialize that new auto widget, uh, which will refresh the rest of the widgets that you have. Uh, but in any case, that works just fine. Uh, so it's going to reload my skin, and then boom, we have a random genre widget from Netflix. So these are pulled in directly from Netflix. If I uh, let it load here for a second. There it is. So these are, you know, my Netflix movies from that random genre. And this is children and family as reported by Netflix. So if, for example, I wanted to um, see a different genre, refresh, and we're going to get huh, LGBTQ movies instead. Okay. Um, so that's how exploding a, a folder works. Um, you explode it out into a bunch of widgets that are going to populate whenever it refreshes. So the other way that we can go is to make something like another shortcut group. Um, this might actually be a good one. So this is the YouTube add-on, and I have all these folders that I can get to in there, obviously. I'm actually going to take YouTube, consider it to be its own folder, and clone it into a shortcut group. We'll just call it uh, YouTube Shortcuts. That's simple enough. And if we go into our widgets, I'll put that one right up here above the search so we can see it right up front. Um, and we go into auto widget. And we go find that YouTube shortcuts group and we use it as a widget and we'll make it big square because that's a fun one. And then we go back to the beginning let it refresh, obviously. That very first widget we see is going to be our, sh our new shortcut widget. So that took all those shortcuts inside YouTube, turn them into one group like this. Now this one in particular is, you know, kind of a simple way because you, um, you could just point your widget directly to YouTube since that was, you know, the root browser window, right? Um, the the main thing there is that it, it becomes something where you can change these. You can change the order, you can change the, the icon on them. Um, because they're shortcut groups and they're not coming from YouTube anymore, I can change whatever I like here. I can edit that path just like I did before and maybe change the fan art to something else or change the icon to something else or change the label. You know, if I wanted the label to not be in bold, 
maybe. I can just take these bold tags out. And then the label on that shortcut is not in bold, and you'll see that right up here. It just, you know, you've got this shortcut that you don't have to worry about anymore. Um, again, <clears throat> these are all auto widgets, changing out, doing their thing. These are shortcut widgets. Some of these are next path. Some of these are random path. The, some of these are pulling from my library. Some are pulling from, uh, you know, the MovieDB helper, where it's actually making calls out to an API. Some of these are pulling, like, this, this genre widget is pulling from Netflix. Totally legit, uh, you know, got my account in there and everything. Um, if we wanted to set, set up something like wizard shortcuts or, you know, a, some other shortcuts from auto widget or another add-on, uh, if you want to do your widgets for Spotify or some other music add-on, you can do that. Uh, mine was working earlier, but now those widgets aren't showing, um, so I'm not really sure why that's not working out. Uh, but you can do pretty much anything with this, and I've seen some, some really cool stuff, uh, some really neat builds that are using this already, um, you know, some, some cool things that people have done. Uh, so I'm really excited to see where this goes. If you guys have any questions, let me know. I'm going to go ahead and put all the pertinent information in the description. So you've got places to come for support, that little action to uh, refresh your widgets, all that cool stuff is going to be in there. Um, let's end that with just one more cool refresh, and we'll call it good. Thanks, guys.